Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Technically afternoon now. Li like, literally afternoon. Uh, yeah, this is finally the Stardew Valley board game. I've been wanting to get this since it was originally released. I, I don't know. I, I thought when it originally released, I was like, it, it'll be like, you know, at least a day. I can wait and think about it. And it sold out in a day. But then this second printing did not sell out quite as fast, and they made a bunch of improvements. They actually did playtesting and stuff, so it's good that I waited, I guess, because this is the, the improved version of the Stardew Valley board game. So, quick overview of what is uh, all going on here. You know, we got some small changes like this. Shows that uh, you, get a, uh, you get a heart for donation. Um, some, uh, some changes in some of the rules. We got... Outside of the view, we got our tray of crops and such, other resources. And we have the new tray in here, which has, you know, the Joja tiles, the season forgeables, all the other cards and the hearts and the coins and all of that. So that's all set up. I am playing as the uh, mining profession, so we're starting with the pickaxe, uh, because... I gotta explore the mind as one of Grandpa's goals. The goal of this game is to do all of Grandpa's goals and all of the community center bundles, which you gotta flip the community center bundles with hearts. You get hearts by making friend, excuse me, by making friends. You make friends by giving them stuff that you've grown or whatever. You got about 16 turns to do it all and you only get two actions per turn. It's a worker placement game. So let's get going. First season, we got an event. What event do we have? We have Traveling Merchant. Keep this and discard at the river fishing space to gain two items. Okay. Pretty specific, but I will hang on to that. River fishing is a little annoying because it's so far removed from everything, and all you can do over here is really, like, buy animals and do that, but it's also the only way you can get wood, which is a little obnoxious, but whatever. You get used to it. And then we also place a Joja tile. We got polluted waters, no fishing allowed at the river. Well, that's uh, quite the coincidence. All right, and then we have nothing to sell, empty inventory. So not going to do the shipping bin. And to start off, I believe I will water my crop, my parsnip, and then move over here, which means I can take a forgeable. We got a daffodil. And... Normally I'd make a friend, but actually I'm going to buy some seeds first and foremost. So it's one coin per seed. You start with three. So I will buy all of the higher priced seeds so that they can grow over the season. And that's my turn. Both actions head back here so we can do an end of turn action if we have the stuff. I don't have any of the stuff, so we're just going to move on to the next uh, week, I guess, since there's four in a season. So the pet moves. I have the cat, but since I'm playing alone, doesn't go anywhere. Gift. I have no friends, so no gift. And Joja. So not a great one for us. Toxic algae bloom. Now the ocean also can't be fished at. And I still have nothing. Well, I have the daffodil, but I'll save that for later, I think. Then, uh, yeah, we're going to water, which moves everything down one. I get the parsnip because it's finished growing. And then we're going to hop over here, get another forgeable. Ooh, it is an artifact. So this goes back in the box, and we grab an artifact from the artifact bag. Let's see here. We got the bone flute. So put that right there. And let's see... I will, uh, yeah, I'll try and make a friend now. So we pop open the first villager. We have Gus. Gus loves crops. So let's give him the parsnip. So that'll go back in the box. And then we will get two hearts because he loves that. And Gus has a summer birthday. So unfortunately, we don't get anything extra after that. But we do get those two hearts, which will be very useful later. And then we go back up there, and let's... Well, we don't really need to fish too much. I need it for this item here, but I don't really I don't really care too much, so 
we'll we'll wait to remove these Joja tiles. They don't get any more expensive or anything. So let's flip another one. Water. That means it rains, so we get one free watering. Pet moves. Doesn't matter here because the pet uh has nowhere to go. And then I could sell some stuff, but I will hang on to things. Now this time I'm going to start over at the museum so that I can donate this bone flute, which gets me another heart. Then I'm going to move over here, which gets me, let's go with the bottom forgeable. It's some stone. And then we're going to do the community center. We're going to use three of these hearts to flip these bundles. All right, so for the crafts room, we have winter foraging. We need any winter forageable. For the pantry, we have fall crop, so any fall crop. So nothing to do yet until those seasons come around. And then uh, ocean fish, any ocean or legendary fish. Well, we have no legendary fish over on the fish track. Um, and we we only have the one ocean fish, but it's actually a uh, crab pot, so we need some bug meat for that one. Um, and we can't fish over there anyways for right now, so we'll have to worry about that later. So that's the end of the turn. I'm going to actually use this stone to make a to make a staircase so that we can go down in the mine. So going down to level two, get rid of the old map card, and bust out a fresh map card. All right, that's the end of that. And then the last week of spring, we have the Egg Festival. Each player rolls an animal die. For each chicken they, that is rolled, we get five gold. Because when you play with multiple players, you all share your gold. So here we go. Give me a chicken. Yeah, five gold. I'm going to take it in singles. All right, and I still get to do my turn. So, could water the crops? Hmm. Well, I don't need any of these crops for the bundles. I really need to hit up the mine. You know what? Let's water the crops and then head to the mine. So, I got a potato. Move over here. Get this forgeable, which is more stone. Great. And then we're going to go to the mine. So, you take two of these Stardew dice. Roll them. All right, we got a heart and a Junimo, and that means that it's where they cross, so bug meat or an event. Let's take the bug meat, because we'll need it for this guy. That's over in the tray. Okay. And that was a pretty, pretty solid use of that turn. Then we're going to use our stone to descend another level in the mines with a staircase. Level three. And the new map. And that's the last day of spring. So we got to take all the spring forgeables and trees off of the board. And put out the new ones. Bit of upkeep. It's kind of similar to the game Village, where there's a lot of time between the rounds, but once you get into the, the swing of it, it's not too bad. And we get a profession upgrade. Now, in the normal multiplayer version, you each take two from your chosen profession, mining, and you choose one. However, in a uh, single player, you get to pick three cards, split up among the decks however you like, and keep one. So I am still going to go for mining, but let's go for these three mining. Which one do I want? We have the Neptune's Glaive. After resolving a monster's ability in the mine, gain any ore or geode. Very useful. Master Slingshot. If you roll a monster in the mine, may discard a stone to ignore it and pick two other spaces. Mm, I think we're going with Neptune's Glaive, but uh, Emerald Ring. When you gain an ore while mining, you may choose to gain any type. Ooh! 
Ooh, it's definitely between those two. Hmm. I can give her a master slingshot right now, but uh Uh, I think I'll go with the Neptune's Glaive, so that goes in my profession upgrade slot. And, let's see, anything else I need to do? Make sure that's in the correct slot of C. Nope, let's start summer! Alright, quality crops. So one of our crops flips to quality, so it's worth a little bit more. And pet moves, but that doesn't matter here. And the fish track moves. No! Ah, the cockle I was going for is out. Alright, so then we scoot this along. And we put in two new fish. Please have some ocean fish. I need them. Okay. Okay, we got the lobster, which is also a crab pot fish. So that's not too bad. Ah, do gotta deal with Joja at some point. And then I could sell some things. Um, mm, I won't for right now. I'm going to hang on to them. Um, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's not fall or winter yet. Could use some more friends and things. I want to deal with Joja. So let's do this. Let's start here. We'll buy... Um, three new seeds because we don't have space for the two seed anyways some blueberry melon and star fruit and then we will move over here to hopefully get an artifact or mineral no nope, it's a spice berry still useful but not what i wanted that's fine um hmm well, shoot, I don't have anything to do over here now. Uh, yeah, I don't got anything to donate, so that was a waste of a turn. Oh, well. So we're going to go back here. No stairs to build. Don't got enough to do the Joja, so we're just going to flip. Hey, another quality crop. Let's go with starfruit. And then everything gets watered. Whoop. So I get that strawberry. And pet moves, which doesn't matter here. Fish move. So taking two out, scooting them along. And doing this right here. Two more fish. We got the largemouth bass and the shad. All right. And I could sell some things, which I sh probably should. I don't need any fall stuff, so yeah. Or rather, I only need fall stuff so I can get rid of the spring and the summer stuff, so summer forgeable. So that's three, six, eight. Eight coins. All right, so now that I've done that, I could water again. I still want to try and donate to the museum. So let's go mining. I need to get pretty deep into the mines for this. I got to get all the way to the bottom. So let's go for the mine. Oops. So that's a heart and a star do fruit, I think. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, so we get a stone or an item. Uh, let's grab a stone because that lets us go deeper into the mine. Then we'll move over here and take this artifact. Stone. Okay, okay. Um, so I can't do anything over there again. Hop over here, and we're going to descend in the mine twice. You may do it multiple times. You can do one thing as many times as you have the stuff for, so we're going to go down to level 5 in the mines. And a fresh map. There we go. Okay. So, that is the end of that week. Aha! Watered. 
Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Make sure they're lined up so I get my quality cauliflower. And I would get... Oh, I do have a guy. Mimic any other player's friend's gift ability. I don't have any other players. So, oops. Oh, well. Let's see. So we get an event. Gunther's Reward. Keep. Discard when any player donates to the museum to gain an item. Okay. Okay, I'll remember that. I'll remember that quite well. Uh, oh, I meant to do the... I meant to clear out the Joja tile there. Oh, well. Uh, I could sell some stuff. I think I'm good on money right now. So let's um, let's start at the mine again. We got Heart and Junimo, which means bug meat or an event. I already have a bug meat, so I'm good on that. Let's go for a mine event. Cave Carrot. Trigger any mine grid space on the current map card. Well, let's see. Do I want to go deeper or do I want... I, I think I'm going to go deeper. So we're going to use the staircase to go to level 6, which means we're halfway to the bottom of the mine. Alright, level 6. New map card. Okay, um, and then... Let's see if we can get an artifact. Nope, sweet pea. Frick, I keep wasting my turn going there. All right, we're going back over here. We're spending five to get rid of the toxic algae bloom. And we are going to the next week. It's the Luau. Each player may discard one crop, fish, or forgeable to gain a heart token. Well, I'll discard the sweet pea I just got to get one. There we go. And then we start with the the huge. Um, hmm. I have a heart token now, which is good. I could use that to get rid of it. You know what? Let's do some motion fishing. So we're just going to spend the bug meat we got to get the lobster. All right. And then we scoot this along. And we got a a crayfish. Nice. Um, let's see. So did the ocean fishing. And then let's hop up here and grab do 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 spice berry. Sure. And we'll go to the community center to immediately use that lobster to finish the ocean the fish tank. So now the fish tank's all cleaned up. Nice. And then we'll tuck that card away, and you get an item. We get the auto grabber. Collect from each of your animals. I don't have any animals, so that's not very helpful, but whatever. All right. And then, do I want to do anything else? Do I have the money to do anything else? Well, hmm. Ah. Uh... No, I'll save that so I can use it later. Last days of summer. So, forgeables are out. All right, new forgeables are set, and I can pick a new profession upgrade. Let's go with... Let's go with forging. I've been having bad luck with that. I could technically mix and match. I just don't really feel like it. So let's see. What do we have? Ooh, we got a couple of doubles. So let's see. Shells and coral. Whenever you take an action at the ocean fishing space, gain two gold. Oh, I wish I'd already had that. Oh, well. Uh, and then we have these double ones where you get to pick a side. So let's see. Botanist. Forgeables generate plus two gold when you sell them. Or tracker. Spend one action. Flip any six forgeables face up. Okay. Forester. When you forge fiber or stone, keep it and gain a forgeable tile on the board. 
Gatherer, when you move, you may collect two forgeable tiles adjacent to your path, but not wood. Hmm. Tracker or Gatherer? Let's go with Tracker. I think that that'll be helpful. Um, okay. So that's the end of that season, and we're in fall. <coughs> Pet moves, or rather doesn't. Don't have anything to... Oh, I have the auto grabber, which lets me gift. Collect from each of your animals. Don't have any animals, so that doesn't help. And a new Joja tile. Cost increase, buying animals. So far, I don't need any, so that's fine. And I could sell some stuff. Let's sell this spice berry at least. That's two gold. All right, now I'm going to water my crops, get this blueberry, and then swing over here um, to take this blackberry. And we are gonna buy some seeds. So let's buy three seeds. Because I need to get up some fall crops. All right, as long as one of those works out. Okay, so that is my turn. Let's uh, let's actually spend this heart to get rid of this, so I can go river fishing. And flip the next season card. It's an event. Magic Ink. If any player has Wizard as friend, they may draw three epic items and claim one. Nobody does, unfortunately. Oh, uh, well. And then another Joja. Please. Not the mine one. Joja Mart Warehouse Planning. Bundles require one additional donation to complete. Oh, that's rough. That's fine. I'll get rid of it as soon as I can. Then I could sell some stuff. Let's sell the blackberry and the blueberry for some money. That's five. Five coins. And now, hmm. <coughs> what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to need to expand the farm, so let's water our crops. Grab this melon that's been done and then go down here to get some wood right there and let's go river fishing all right we got a junimo and a heart which gets us the shad so that's something and this gets moved along and this goes Right here. And, hmm. Right, the traveling merchant. Discard the river fishing space to gain two items. So I'm gonna do that right now. We got wine. Discard to choose any player's befriended villager and they give you a gift, which is useless to me. So that'll be discarded. And dinosaur, gift to gain an artifact. Okay, that'll be very helpful if I can do that, because I need to donate to the museum a couple times. All right, that was an okay turn. And let's spend five to get rid of the Joja Mart warehouse planning. All right, and we go to the next... No, crow! All right, eats the eggplant. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, well. And an event. Let's see. Your pet loves you. If cat, draw and keep three fish tiles. Oh, no, I only have space for one fish tile. That's unfortunate. But, uh, yeah. Let's do it. We got snail, sturgeon, and an item. So, I gotta get rid of the snail. 
because I don't got space. And then the item, I do get an item. So that's cool. What do we got? Wild bait. Discard during your turn to take any or all tiles from the fish track. Ah, that's not very useful to me. So since I can only keep two items, we're going to get rid of that one. All right. Um, yep, yep, yep. And then I can sell. So I'm going to sell the sturgeon, melon, and the cauliflower for 14. There we go. All right, now I can actually take my turn. Head into the mines. Let's do it. Heart and that guy. Two stone or two ore? Well, I need some ore. What ore do we have? We have copper and uh, iron. So I'll get one of each. All right. Very useful. And let's hop over here. Artifact? Artifact! There we go. See, it's a little risky, but sometimes it pays off. All right, give me any artifact that isn't a C. It's a question mark, so I can put it wherever. So we're going to put it on B. This gets me a heart. And I believe uh, when any player donates to the museum, I can discard this to get an item. So let's do it. Warp totem. Discard during your turn to move to any space. Ooh, that can be very useful. Uh, let's get rid of the auto grabber. Okay. Um, there was something else, I think, right? Oh, I've donated twice. So that means that... We finished this grandpa goal. Nice. Most of the, mostly getting there. We're doing it. All right, and then we head back. I'm going to upgrade my starting tool uh, twice because I have both of the things I need for it. So we're going straight up to level two, the iron pickaxe. So if my mining roll isn't a monster, I can shift my roll by one, either up or l up or left. So that's pretty useful. And I upgraded my starting tool twice. So another grandpa goal. Very nice. OK. So now we flip fishing track moves. All right. Shrimp and tuna. And we get a Joja tile. Let's see. Cluttered display cases, no! So now I have to use two actions to donate to the museum. Until I get rid of it, at least. Oof! All right, well, I'll figure it out. I could sell that strawberry, but I'm gonna hang on to it. And, yeah, we're gonna scoot over, which gets me the star fruit. And then I'm gonna go over here. Grab this wood. So now I have the two woods. And can't donate to the museum yet, but we could make a friend. So uh, let's make a friend. Here we go. Penny. Penny loves crops. So we're going to give Penny the strawberry, which I believe is one of her loved items in the, uh, in the actual game. Has a fall birthday, too, so we get three hearts. Penny is who I chose as my wife in the uh, in the game. Just a little fun fact for you. All right, so now we have Penny and Gus. In fact, I'll scoot those like this. I don't think you guys can see it, unfortunately. The camera doesn't quite reach there. And there we go. That is the end of that turn. Go back over here. Got to save the wood for uh, a building. Uh, yep, and that's the last days of fall. So we're getting rid of all the fall tiles. Not making great progress. 
I've, I've completed three of the ten goals, and we only got one season left. Should be okay. Should be okay. And we're into winter. Wow, there we go. And then a profession card. We're going to go mining again. All right. Let's see what we get. We could have the warrior ring. If you roll a monster, may ignore and re-roll. But you must take the second roll. As a miner, you can gain a stone or gain a mineral as a geologist. And blacksmith or in stone generates plus two gold. Or artifacts generate plus two gold. Uh, let's go with the stone. That'll help us get down the mine faster. <coughs> so yeah, let's do that. Um, and we'll replace the tracker. All right. There it is. Now we go on to winter pet moves, or rather, doesn't. Now I can get a gift. I can get an artifact or a heart. Well, let's get an artifact because the artifact can become a heart. We got C. Oh, that's useless. Oh, well. All right, we're gonna water the crops. Wait, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sell anything. We're gonna water the crops. Move over here. Get the snow yam, which we'll need as our winter forageable. And then we're gonna buy our building. So we just need ten coins and two wood. And we've built the coop. Actually, let's build the shed. It's the same cost, and it means that I can store unlimited resources there. And we can trade before moving around. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty helpful. And we expanded the farm. That's another grandpa for you. And back here, don't got any stone right now. Oh, we got plenty of hearts, though. Let's remove... Now nah, we don't need to remove a Joja tile. And upgrade steering tool. Can't build any stairs, so yeah, we're just moving on. Feast of the Winter Star. Each player gains one random profession upgrade from the deck of their choice. Oh, we're going mining again. And we got... Jade ring. When opening geodes, roll three dice and choose one. Well, I don't have space for another profession upgrade, and I don't really like that one. Not going to be super helpful for me at this point. That's fine. So we're going to... Actually, we're going to drop off some stuff before I move. Just going to clean out my resources. We're going to actually water the crops. So I get this, and actually, we'll, we'll say I didn't put that on there, because <laughs> that was a mistake. All right, and then we'll move over here, take the holly, and community center. So we're going to spend our three hearts to flip the last ones. So we got heart plus any mineral, six gold and any mineral. So I don't have any minerals right now, but I got the fall crop. I got the forageable.
and I got the gold. So we can do those three. Very efficient. And I get an item for each. So let's see what three items, oops, grab too many. What three items we got. We got straw hat, keep, reduce heart token cost of revealing or replacing bundles by one, but the minimum is one, so that's not very helpful. Torch, discard during your turn to activate one symbol on current season card. Ooh, okay. And tub of flowers, discard and gain three heart tokens. Let's, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's do the torch. We'll replace the dinosaur. Sorry, buddy. I love you, but you're not very useful at this point. I'm sorry. Okay. And that will make it for the end of that turn. Any additional stuff I'd want to do? Nope. I think I'm good. And then, whoop. Ooh, we're getting low. Second to last day. Cat moves, or rather doesn't. Fish gets replaced. Whoa! We got a pike and we got legend, which is one of the legendary fish. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All right, and we could sell some stuff. I'm just gonna sell this holly. All right, then how do we wanna do this? We're gonna start straight at the mines. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna start straight at the mines. I'm hoping for one of those, so let's find out. Uh, yep, mine dice. Heart and Junimo, nope. Uh, gain one stone and end your turn. Oh no! Well, I also gain any ore or geode. So we're gonna take the Omni geode. No. We'll take, we'll take the frozen geode. Ah, turn is over. I'll spend my stone to go down in the mines. Level seven. Okay, I don't think we're gonna make it to the bottom of the mines, but uh, let's let's keep working. All right, there. Gotta do the fish, and we get another Joja. Seed shortage over Pierre. That's fine, I can't buy any more seeds anyways. And I could sell some stuff, but I'm not going to. I can have him break open my geode, which means that we get uh, to roll the die. Fruit, ah, we got a mineral, perfect. We get Celestine. We lose our frozen geode. That's all right, because we're hopping over here, uh, fiber, and we're donating this mineral plus a heart to Enchanter, which cleans up the bulletin board. And then we hop over there. That's the end of it. Last days of winter, the year comes to an end. So. I almost made it. I was one mineral shy, and I did not make it to the 12th uh, level of the cave, which is honestly super hard. Like, I I, yeah, I think I did it once. You kind of have to focus from the beginning, because it. if you think about it, you can move one, maybe two levels per turn, and there's only 16 turns total, so you gotta just be on it to do that. Really difficult to do it, at least by yourself. But uh, yeah. That's that's the Stardew Valley board game. 
Um, I'll probably stream some more another time. As it is now, I have a lot of work to do. Today, I'm working on like an audiobook, and it's it's a tough one. It's I'm 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 having to do a, a lot of uh, retakes and stuff. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for joining in. You know, I hope this lets you know how you feel about this. Thanks for choosing me as your streaming entertainment. I know you got a lot of choices in streaming entertainment, so I appreciate you giving me a shot. Please take the time to follow and subscribe. Use your Twitch Prime sub, uh, which if you connect your Amazon Prime account, you get a free sub a month. Use on me. Appreciate it, because I know you will. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitter, YouTube. Uh, check out my Twitch archive on YouTube, which is Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. Go check out, I did a year-end review. It's like almost two hours long of just like all the movies I saw this year, and that's up on my YouTube. So go, go watch that. I put a lot of work into it. And uh, yeah. I hope to see see y'all on, we'll say, Tuesday maybe, ah, maybe Thursday. But I'll be doing more Jack X. I just this audiobook might take precedence over streaming for the uh, better part of the next week. But we'll see. But I hope to see y'all sometime around. Let's see who is live to raid over to real quick. Hmm, nobody playing Stardew, so let's let's just look up Stardew and send y'all over to a random Stardew streamer. Celeste Star. Let's do that. Oh, nope. I was gonna do that, but it looks like she disappeared. Uh, Sleepy Ken. Sure. All right, there's an ad playing. Sorry about that. Sleepy Ken. There we go. All right, let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of your weekend. Okay, okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.